Hi all, welcome back. Today I am going to perform a small video on how to configure and verify vulnerability security profile. Uh, this is my small topology. In this topology, I have uh, three zones. One is inside DMJ and outside. My inside network is having a uh, 192.162.0. DMJ is having a 192.168.3.0 and outside is having a 192.168.100.2. So basically vulnerability profile, uh, uh, vulnerability is a security weakness uh, which is going to be uh, get compromised by the hackers. So basically it will use the weaknesses in the system and it will, the hackers will uh, uh, generate some traffic and to get the access. And vulnerability protects, uh, uh, detects, uh, attempt to exploit non-software vulnerabilities. So basically it, uh, through a software vulnerabilities and it also determines the overflow legal code execution so here is a game plan i can also i have a kali linux uh, uh, outside on it in outside network so i have a inside i have a one um, in user pc i have installed a one exam server exam control so basically i will in uh, from outside i will generate a brute force attacks or DOS attacks vulnerabilities so through sparta application so vulnerability analysis application so with that we can able to stop the uh, we can with that uh, we can the vulnerability protection profiles will stop the flow it will drop the packet so go into the firewall and create a security vulnerability security profile so go to the firewall, go to the objects, net objects, and go to the security profile. In that security profile, you can see the vulnerability protection. Click on that. There are two predefined uh, uh, security profiles. One is default and another one is a strict one. Default profile applies uh, uh, default actions like critical, high, medium, and severity. Uh, and uh, default profile does not detect any low and, low and informational vulnerability protection events. Strict implementation of the profile uh, used out of the box uh, only because it applies block response to critical high and medium severity spy base. So events uh, and a strict uh, uses um, default action for a low informational vulnerability protection. And we can create, uh, you know, these are all the predefined ones. So we can create uh, cloning the predefined one. And uh, we select the strict one and click on clone. And click on OK. So here is the strict one. Or else if you want to create uh, uh, your own, you can create it. These are all the rules. Uh, the rule names are like, you know, these are all the rule names if you click on that. The rule name is a simple client critical, the threat name is any, action is both, both reset. So reset both in the sense if it is a TCP connections, uh, reset in the sense uh, it will reset from the both client and server. So reset both in the sense, so it will reset, uh, uh, reset the TCP connections and if it is a UDP connections drop the packet. So host type is client and this is a packet capture disabled, single packet and extended packet. If you have any category kind of DOS, ex uh, exploit kit and overflow phishing, these are all the scan. So these are all the uh, categories. So and uh, based on the CVRD, you can select the critical, high, medium, low. So, uh, uh, this is uh, exceptions. Exceptions uh, basically uh, can set to override the actions of rules. So whatever the uh, rules we have mentioned here, so it can be override. This can be used to override the false detections uh, being detected. So exceptions are very helpful. Like you know, if you can go to the exceptions, if you show the uh, show all signatures, so it will show all the signatures uh, in this. Uh, we have totally uh, 17,000 uh, 241 threads. So we can uh, include the exceptions. We can create the exceptions to override the false detections. So first of all, I will do, I will uh, 
delete the stick one i want to create a uh, and also we have a custom objects custom uh, objects in that we have a vulnerability we can create our own custom uh, vulnerability uh, uh, objects so here is a threat id the threat id starts from uh, threat id starts from uh, 41000 to 45000 uh, the we can mention 41000 one and we can mention any vulnerability test and the severity we can mention uh, any high critical based on the uh, threat so i will go with the critical and uh, default action is so i want to drop the default actions so direction is by both and affect system client and server so you can if you have any cv you can number mention here so you can uh, reference details as well so go to the signatures so there are no signatures standard here so click on that it's a standard one and you can mention any name that's uh, vulnerability and session transitions so here is the add or conditions and add and conditions so add or conditions checks uh, if you have a five uh, options like it will check all the five options one by one if you have any uh, uh, if the condition matches in add conditions uh, our conditions also it will go for the rest of the conditions if add and conditions if you have a five options in that first options only if you code the threads so it will not check for arrest others four so this is the difference between add or on add or conditions add and conditions click on add or conditions so here is a pattern content and uh, sorry operator context and pattern the so pattern match if it check the pattern and content what content it's having and what type of a pattern it's having so if I check with the content, so I want to, to check with HTTP. Uh, HTTP, I want to, to have a HTTP request path. So I want to, to check uh, whether my request is coming from, uh, from which browser it is uh, coming. So I will uh, initiate like, some packet capture to check, uh, tell you the like and how it will shows. Right now I'm in test PC and I will try to access the Facebook. Just run me an warning because of security. Stop. Here is the HTTP connections. Go to the follow here the tcp stream agent here is it's going with the mozilla mozilla windows here is the chrome okay so the user agent uh, it will shows like you know so you, with the user agent i can able to uh, block the uh, vulnerabilities so this is a user agent and you can add the pattern here so this is the So and add it, click on OK and click on OK. So click on OK. So my custom objects, uh, custom object is ready. So if you go to the vulnerability uh, protection, so go to the stick one. So this is the what we have um, mentioned. So UN protection. Here you have to make the file and provide any description. And if you go to the exception, so show all the signatures. So you can see our custom object is reflecting here 41,000 vulnerability test and critical. You can mention the drop. Click on OK. Click on OK. So this is the one way to clone and uh, uh, clone from the. Uh, or predefined profiles so if you want to create a fresh one so click on add so you can provide any vpp profile 
and click on add it so this is the rule name so you can mention any dos name just for a, a rule name and default action is drop and packet capture disable if you have any category and in which category it is like you know if it is a dos if it is a scan and you can mention i will mention any so i would see where it is critical so if you have any cve name and vendor id so you can add it here by clicking uh, add button so as of now i will go with the uh, as it is okay click on okay so my uh, uh vpp uh, profile is ready so rule name is no threat name is any cv is any host type is any CVR is critical action is drop and disable the uh, packet capture is uh, disabled click on ok and go to the policies we need to attach this vulnerability protection profile to the uh, whichever is uh, the rule is there from outside to inside because the most of the time uh, the vulnerability uh, attack will be happen from outside to inside so i have a rule uh, coming from outside to inside so i will go to the click on the rule source is outside destination is inside application is any service is any action i can go to the profile settings select the profiles and if is there the vulnerability production so go select the vpp for profile what we have created earlier click on ok and commit the changes ok configuration committed successfully close click on close so if you go to I have a Kali Linux here so go to the Kali Linux and go to the applications and here is the vulnerability analysis click on that and if you go to the sparta if you go to the windows uh, test pc i'm already uh, uh, running uh, port 80 9443 and 3306 so with this search i can able to see the which are all the ports are running in the target machine so go to the add the scope you can add uh, you can add the ip or any network id i mean to 168.2.14 click on add scope scan is running so you can see 8443 and if you go to the power window and go to the monitor and go to the threats so click on refresh okay the reason one is i got a vulnerability hit from outside from 192 .4 .2. 2.14 on a port 80 web browsing drop the packet and click keep on refreshing yeah another packet vulnerability bash remote code and this is the vulnerability web dev development critical CVRT critical whatever we have assigned the CVR thread so it is popping up here so it will keep on coming here yeah one of the bash mode code execution of availability packet is drop yeah and we are getting 15 17 30 17 26 17 15 18 10 18 32 yeah again 18 52 so for the 80 
so with this log we 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 have seen like you know how to configure the objects in vulnerability protection objects and with the default rule and creating a custom objects and adding to the the pattern and uh, once after creating an object we need to assign we need to bind that to policy so take the effect so i hope uh, this video has been informative for you and i would like to say thank you for watching